Well, good morning. We are going to start making some date pinwheels today. And it calls for one cup of water and two and a half cups of dates. All right, I kind of squeezed them in here, so I'm gonna have to loosen them a bit. I might even have to turn the camera off to get them out of there. Love dates, I don't know why I don't make these all the time also. We are listening to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we are listening to Andre Segovia this morning, the classical guitarist from Spain. And there's the dates. I kind of pound them in there because if there's one thing I want, I want a lot of dates in here. So it says two packages. Now these are not the uh, dates. They don't have pets, obviously. And they aren't the candy dates. Those sugar candy dates are way too sweet. You want just the basic date that's pitted. And then it calls for a cup of sugar. So that would be granulated sugar. I use the fourth cup because it goes in this little canister. <laughs> I could just put it in another cup, but anyhow, this is the way I do it. Okay, so we have that. So now what we need to do is to cook this for about 10 minutes until it's well blended and then we're going to cool it a little bit and put nuts in it and I choose to use pecans. And so I've got the burner on, it's going to get started soon and here's, here's part of my pecans. And uh, sometimes I use a little blender to do this. It's kind of fun to use this old uh, antique -y kind of nut chopper. No matter how you do it, you're going to end up with some big pieces and some powder. Okay, so I will be cooking this, and then I'll show you the uh, results as I put the, the pe pecans in it. Here it is, bubbling away, and I'm taking this flat bottom spoon and just kind of, you know, mashing it up. But I have a confession to make. I'm one of those overzealous cooks, I suppose, and what I did, this calls, this says it's 12 ounces. And I know it calls for two, two and a half cups of dates. Yeah, but I put 24 ounces in. You know, I put this package in and another package. And we're going to have a lot of mixture to go in the cookies. And that's better than being scant. That's just my motto. Don't want to be scant here. All right. I would say it's pretty well done now. And I'm going to put in the, the pecans. As you can see, this is a one cup measure. And I've got it nice and rounded. So I'm being very generous with all my ingredients here today in this part of it. I'll be exact in the dough. But uh, as far as what we're supposed to cook for the filling, it says two and a half cups of dates, which is two packages, one cup of water, one cup of sugar, and then one cup of nuts. So you can follow that or you can uh, kind of overdo it like I did, depending on what you want to do. But you got the basic and then you got the way I'm doing it today. Now we're pretty well set to start the dough. It, I needed to make the filling first because it's got to cool before I spread it out on the dough. So I always cook with butter because uh, butter is is a natural product. Whoa, that's really shiny. And it biodegrades quicker. It dissolves quicker in your veins and things than does margarine and shortening. So it is a far healthier thing to use, a uh, commodity to use for cooking. And it calls for two cups of brown sugar. And of course, when you do brown sugar, it's supposed to be packed. And so we have brown sugar in here. And you just push it down with your hands. Make sure it's packed really good. And then put it in there. Yeah. Come on out. Come on. All right. Now I'm going to put that under the beater and get it started. And then, then add the eggs and then the uh, some of the other ingredients. And you will do that with me. Right now, we're just going to get this going here. The recipe calls for three eggs beaten. I just don't take the time to do that. I could. But uh, I've got one in there and one in here and one over there. As you can see, I don't want them to roll around, so I put them in a bowl. Well, why do I put them in a cup instead of just put them in there? Well, because I want to uh, check and see if there's any eggshells in the, uh, with the egg that I break. So I check for eggshells when it's in the cup. So all of the eggs are in there now. And I'm just going to use a big mixer on this, as you can see today, instead of a Cuisinart. I don't like a Cuisinart for cookies. And we'll get them going here. Let's 
scrape a little bit off the sides. And this is a good time to put the dry ingredients in. Put them in with the rest of the dry ingredients or whatever. Well, I think I'll do that later. <laughs> so it was pretty well beaten up. The problem was a second ago that uh, I was trying to put my half spoon in my salt. I like to use my little salt shaker thing here because then I don't pour it over the, the mixture and the flour or the bat batter or whatever and get too much. So this is just a fourth teaspoon and it goes nicely into my salt shaker and then I can refill my salt shaker and not have to worry about having accidentally spilled too much salt in something. All right and then it calls for uh, one teaspoon of soda and you're supposed to kind of scrape it off the top and so there you have it. There's the there's the two um, things salt and soda and then I will put this, just mix it in just a little bit, and then I will do the flour by hand so I don't have flour going all over the kitchen, and I don't really have a bread beater for this, so we'll do that part by hand. All right, I thought I was recording this. Let me see. We've got this, um, this batter down here, and let me go back over the ingredients here. It is one cup of shortening, four cups of flour I just put in, two cups of brown sugar packed, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of soda, and three eggs. And if anybody really likes uh, date, cooking with dates, my mother had this recipe, it's wonderful. And it's called um, date, date pudding. I don't know if I just said that, my thing is flashing here. Let's, let's stop it. So if you think you'd like that date pudding recipe, just leave a comment on this and I can always video that. It has this cake-like uh, substance, and then it's got a lot of homemade, I make it homemade, uh, whipped cream with it. And then you mix that together, and it's very sweet. You can't eat too much of it, but it's a wonderful old recipe.